Kratos is a medium-sized American uh, defense company that uh, our expertise in, is in developing uh, high capability um, weapon systems for US DOD and, and people throughout uh, the world. Uh, but our speciality is really doing that at uh, a very low cost, very affordably, uh, at, um, in comparison to an F-35, we have uh, systems, UAV systems, that are almost as capable as F-35 in many uh, respects, that instead of costing $85 million a copy, they cost anywhere from $300,000 to $3 million a copy. So um, very capable systems, but very low cost, allows you to have a lot of systems. And I think one of the things that uh, the war in Ukraine has demonstrated is that the number of systems that you have actually matters. Uh, and if you have really expensive systems that are really good, if they get destroyed, you no longer have a capability. Our idea is to have very capable systems that may not be as capable as the very expensive systems, but you can afford to buy lots of them. And we think that we have a differentiator from many of the other defense companies out there in that we're developing high-tech systems. Um, as an example, our UAVs fly high transonic speeds, almost the speed of sound, have very long distances, but again, are very affordable. So they are very highly survivable in the, uh, in the war, uh, war environment, um, but they don't cost so much. So um, I know that the uh, Polish MOD has bought F-35s. Uh, they're not gonna be able to afford very many F-35s, uh, and in the end, I think, again, what Ukraine has shown us is numbers matter. And so uh, our airplanes are designed to work in conjunction with F-35s and F-16s uh, so that you can protect the high value assets and the man in the uh, airplanes while sending aircraft like our Valkyrie and our Mako forward into the areas that are of high uh, threat and uh, if you lose them, well, you don't want to lose them, but if you do lose them, they're inexpensive enough that it's not the end of the world for losing those aircraft. A direct investment in, in Poland probably won't happen. And that's not something that we're interested in. What we're really interested in is working directly with Polish industry. And so we want to have cooperation with Polish industry. We don't want to be like some of the American companies who've bought a Polish company and it's now essentially an American company. We really want to work with the Polish defense organizations, both the MOD and, and uh, Polish defense industry to bring capabilities to the Polish MOD. Truth is, the Polish uh, defense industry knows the Polish MOD much better than we will ever uh, know and knows what the Polish MOD needs. Uh, and so we think it's important to, to uh, to develop relationships and partnerships with uh, with the Polish defense industry. And, and because of our size, we're not one of those companies that's gonna come in and say, we're the big American company we know best. Uh, we acknowledge we don't know Poland and we don't know a lot of things. Um, and so I think it's a different relationship than you would find with some of the large American uh, defense companies who say that they're working with uh, Polish MOD, but it's really, you know, I, I hate to say it, but it's really kind of the tail end, the small scraps. We want to be real partners with Polish industry.